Welcome to 311 Griffin's YouTube channel. I'm Sandman and uh, this is my first MiG-21 video. I uh, picked this up on sale, something I've been looking at for a while, but uh, uh, you know, I'm, it's not something I'm going to fly a lot, so I didn't want to spend full price on it, so I just kind of waited for it to go on sale and finally picked it up. Uh, I figured my first video should be sort of similar to my first A-10C video. Um, as I learn these planes, it's kind of cool how uh, how fully detailed they are and the, uh, the systems on them. Uh, or n not fully detailed, but pretty intricately detailed. It's uh, kind of cool. And uh, for the A-10, it was pretty complex. And so as I was, as I was going through the owner's man or the, uh, the, the manual for it, I, I noticed that uh, like the mid-engine uh, mid-air engine restart systems were somewhat modeled and so I decided uh, since I, it was one of the systems I could somewhat understand I uh, thought I'd try it out and of course it worked so I got to looking at the well when I first started flying the MiG um, I, I realized it does not like zero G and I kept having my engine shut off so I looked for how to restart them mid-air and it's actually pretty easy in the MiG um, so I'm just going to go over those real quick. I think they're on page 192, if I remember, of the manual, maybe 162. I don't remember right off, but um, we're just going to talk about it real quick. Okay, so like I said, uh, it, the MiG does not like Zero-G or flying upside down. That switch right there is the switch you're going to flip to uh, restart. Uh, basically, you'll pull your throttle back and you'll flip that switch. Um, it's pretty easy to tell whenever your engine's dying because <laughs> it just sh shuts off. You'll you'll hear the sound change, and you will uh, you'll also see the uh, the uh, gauge drop, the the you know percent RPM or whatever it is. I don't know exactly what it is. So we're gonna go into afterburner here, and we're gonna climb. Um, this is actually the situation where I first found my engine dying. Uh, I decided to, to climb because these Russian jets usually climb pretty well and I just wanted to test it out. And then whenever I pushed over at the top, instead of rolling over and, and pulling the stick, I just pushed over. And uh, it, it doesn't really like that. There you go. The engine's dropping. So you want to, and you can see on the light on the gauge, or on the, on the warning panel there comes on the red light so you pull your throttle back you want to maintain I think it's 500 knots or 550 knots or something like that uh, so I wasn't going very fast so I'm, I'm just gonna go into a dive here to get my speed built up just a little bit and then we're just gonna flip that switch and instantly you see another red light come on on the panel indicating an engine start uh, let them spool up a little bit I think you want them over 35 percent if I remember right and, and then you can push the throttle up to any non-reheat uh, setting or non-afterburner setting and uh, the engine should respond. Now sometimes it'll kind of, it, well, and then you, you, you flip your switch off as soon as it's done and that, that's it. Uh, sometimes your gauge will kind of jump and it'll sound funny just for, you know, a split second and then it'll, the gauge will respond again. Uh, so don't worry about that. That means, as far as I can tell, that it's restarted. Uh, now we're going to fly upside down, um, just like in the A-10. The A-10 doesn't like flying upside down for more than 10 seconds, and uh, I don't even know if the MiG makes it 10 seconds. So, again, pull the throttle back, maintain your, uh, your speed. I'm just going to pull into a dive here. And, uh, oh, I already flipped my switches on. I should have rolled over first, probably, but I already flipped the switch on so the engine's already spooling up and uh, responding, so we'll just turn it off. It's it's that easy. So this could happen quite often, um, you know, especially if you're not, you know, it, it's best to, to roll the plane and fly uh, and, and pull the stick to maintain positive G but I find myself every once in a while just having an engine die. Now there was one other instance where my engine died on me and that was when I was in a dive. I don't know if I was going too fast or maybe I inadvertently put it in a zero G 
uh, kind of maneuver. But I wasn't even expecting this. I was just, I was just diving for the fun of it. And there goes my engine. So at first I thought I was out of fuel. I've still got fuel. It was, it was just kind of odd. I don't, I don't know what this one was all about. So I went ahead and pulled my throttle back. I had plenty of speed even though I was low. Turned the relight on. And the engines responded nicely. So then I went ahead and just flew the aircraft for a little bit. Um, I don't know why. I, I think I forgot to push my throttles back up. Or my throttle back up. And then, then it kind of dawned on me. Oh yeah. It was the throttle. But uh, but it worked, you know. I don't I don't know why the engine died, but it worked. It restarted, and uh, so I went on flying some more. And that's all there is to it, really. Um, very simple. Much easier than the uh, than the A10 as far as relights go, uh, which doesn't surprise me. The MiG-21 is uh, pretty easy, easy to start in the first place. Um, there are some, you know, a lot of switches that I don't know exactly what their function is, but it's uh, it's pretty easy to, to start, and in real life it's pretty fast to, to start, so it wouldn't surprise me that the engine restart would be pretty easy. Um, and, and the cool thing, I mean, that's, that's the thing, or traditionally speaking, Russian, Russian technology is a little simpler than Western technology, so, um, and, and I mean that in, you know, being a, a sort of a robust and easy to use and, and quick kind of a thing, not a, um, not a, uh, you know, not as effective, simpler, um, you know, they're different philosophies, so, uh, that's about it, and again, like I said earlier, if you pull positive G's when you're making your maneuvers, uh, you're probably not going to have a whole lot of engine in, engine deaths, so to speak. Um, you know, if, if you kind of roll, overbank your turns and things like that, I don't think it'll be a big issue. It's just when you push that stick forward. Um, one area where you may want to watch out for this is uh, in your landing procedures. Um, you know, if you, if you get a little bit too much altitude and you try to push the stick forward to uh, reduce that altitude, um, you, you could have an engine die, and you're not going to have the speed or the altitude to correct, so uh, that could be problematic for sure. Uh, so just be careful on your um, on your landings, and I'm not the best pilot in the world, but I would assume you'd want to use your throttle more than pushing on the stick to try to reduce your altitude. So that's it. Enjoy the rest of the video. Um, thanks, guys, and happy flying.